everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. I'm being joined by Corey, and we are at the South California Institute of Technology. Yep. Is that correct? Southern California Institute of Technology. And, and we are at the very first Orange County CMIA chapter meeting. We're gonna we're gonna take you through. It's gonna get loud, so I apologize for that. But the good side is you're gonna see some really cool people. And including the president of the Orange County chapter, Everardo. Oh, no kidding! Come on, everybody! Come on, man! <laughs> this is this is the president. There's so many people in there. Everardo. Justin, pleasure to meet you. Oh my gosh, there's so many people in there. You've been on the calls awesome. with him. So that's why I figured let's come out. We'll get the intro. Uh, so anyway, one of the things that we are going to showcase is the fact that Corey is uh, he's really working on the program here to expand it. And we are gonna take a look through this building, which is amazing. We're gonna take a look at the various types of uh, career services that they're gonna have here. So we're gonna have electrical, we got motors, we got robotics. This place has more stuff in one little footprint than I've seen anywhere else out of any other biomed or technical institute that I've toured. And you guys know I've been through a few of them. Let's go ahead. Let's flip the camera around and let's take a tour of this building. We'll start on the first floor, then we'll go to the second floor. It's gonna get loud, but y'all gotta see, they have some history inside this building. All right, here we go, guys. California Medical Instrumentation, <laughs> Instrumentation Association, Orange County chapter. This is the first. You can hear, they, they have one stairwell. It is loud up there, so guys. So some of the lights are gonna be off and I'm gonna apologize for that. But that's okay, because there's so much more stuff to see. There's gonna be a lot of student projects and stuff that you're gonna see, like this guy right here. That's crazy. Uh, that looks like a security robot. So one of the first things that we're gonna get off in is this is their electrical trade school. And uh, you guys can take a look. And we have residential and we have, co we have commercial electrical. And look how they have everything set up so beautifully. This is incredible. So they allow the students to wire things up. They show them correct wiring codes. And you can see right here, they got electrical running through uh, the regular metal trusses. And uh, you got wooden studs. That's cool. I can also see where they're showing them how to drill. What's probably the correct way to drill through studs in the incorrect way and stuff. Very cool. Obviously two different mentalities. You got metal conduit and you got no conduit Romex. Holy cow. Okay, so what is this one, man? This is a uh, programmable logic controller, right? Is, yeah. The PLC? where they get all of their programming training for PLCs, for automation. Oh my for, God. You can see if you come over here, you can see where the traffic light uh, automation can be what? here as well. So they teach them how to do even traffic controls. Yeah. That is insane. And oh, I love it. And other uh, switches and... and well, any kind of thing you might want to control with the PLC. So you're going to see this is a common uh, method of teaching at this facility. They have workstation set up where you can see every single student has their own workstation and a computer there. So they have a flow that they're supposed to follow while they're going through the labs. This is so cool. You can see that there's a couple journeymen that are in there. Program logic, and uh, this is one of the cooler ones. So we have uh, variable frequency drives. Oh, this is so go. cool. We can come in. Yes, sir. <laughs> so this is a motor lab, and how crazy is this? Hold on, let me zoom out so you guys can see because there's way too much stuff. So they have almost every type of AC motor, and I take it probably DC over here on the other side. Take a look at all these different motors. And the cool thing is, is you can wire them up, you can actually hook them up, and you can run them, you can see the amount of current that you're pulling based on the different types of uh, configurations. Very cool. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Holy cow, these are like modules that they can pull out and put on the workbench. Yep. Oh, that's so cool. And, and that means you can set it here and you can actually hook it up. Man. Get everything wired. Program. That's so cool. You guys can see my wife Jenny. She's out there chilling. She's been so cool about this trip. I'm like nerding out here, and she's she's just allowing me to do the process. Look at this. I love dry erase boards and going through theory. You love theory too, man. Yep. You're an engineer by by mentality as well. Yes, so. sir. 
And I, I found my love in uh, anatomy and physiology, of all things. Actually. Really? Oh, yeah. You know, I, I've said on my channel many times that that is the difference between a, a regular biomed and a great biomed. Because if you don't know the anatomy and physiology, then you don't really understand what the device does and why it does it. Exactly. And when, you know, you have users, nurses, physicians, they need a problem solved, and you might be able to find out a uh, unique solution to that if you know how it well, doesn't work. Well, you are absolutely correct, because if it's not a user error, you are also troubleshooting the patient. Oh, yeah. Because sometimes things like... Uh, arrhythmias, sometimes there is uh, interference that happens and it's actually the patient and either their anatomy or other medical devices like gastronomical uh, pacemakers and stuff. Oh, look at this. Guys, this is so cool. <laughs> this is so cool. Yeah, they've done a lot of work here. We have some really good sharp engineers that come out of this school. Look at this. They have a small production process line here. So you see they got a feed belt. They have a suction apparatus which detects, usually probably from a photocell or a uh, Hall effect sensor. So it's gonna know its position. It will know what goes in each station. That is so cool. And look at that, there's a hole in it. You can see the pucks here. Yeah. Ah, so the hole is also to detect if there's something in in the uh, device. There we go. Oh, look at that. There you go. Production process engineering. So the pucks, it's actually simulating bottle caps. Yep. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Man, I I could I could make so many videos from a laboratory like You're this. You're welcome to come visit anytime, <laughs> Justin. <laughs> We have some They'd be like, who is that guy that's like over there? Yeah. <laughs> this is so cool. All right. So we have the solar uh, power systems here. Oh, is that what this is? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can see they have the solar arrays on the wall. Yeah. Very cool. This is one of the neatest rooms. Guys, look how much money they have invested into this facility. These are robotics labs. So this is the future. I mean, obviously, uh, nobody can deny that. Many, many jobs will be replaced by robotics. So when people complain that, oh, jobs are going away. No, they're not. We are making new jobs, all right? Someone has to program this. That's right, and repair them and sell them. I mean, there, there's so many jobs being opened up through robotics. You might actually argue that there's more jobs because of the robotics than there was before. <laughs> that is so cool. So if we want, well, I, let me show you one more thing this way. Okay. Where you can see some I, I love some of the projects and stuff that we see. Yeah. You, you guys are going to see stuff like this absolutely everywhere. There's little student projects being set up. Yeah, so you our can engineering see, students, they do a, a there's, capstone. There's cases all over the place that have historical items in them. Like over here, there's bits of history. These are trainers. You can you feel free to okay. go there. That we have uh, so, so these are student trainers. Yes. And they're deployable. Yes. So we they can sign them out. Yep. We assign it to a student, they take them home. Look how intricate they are. That is so cool. That's an infrared detector. And so is this one, isn't it? Ah, I'd love to see what the labs are. So are the labs like on a, a laptop and they just walk through with the trainer? Right. Okay. Oh wow. I didn't so see the, the ones down below the Yeah. Oh wow, look at that. They got frequency generation and stuff like in the trainer. Oh, that's next level stuff. So were you guys just experimenting with which format is probably the best or are you just trying to encompass? Well, you know, we, we, and I don't have all of the information for these because this has happened before I got here, but Jeez. when COVID happened, we needed to transition. A pneumatics lab yeah. in a box. We had to find a solution to getting the students to, to practice and have labs while they weren't on campus, right? So. But obviously you see our other lab that has everything you would need, but if you're at home, what are you, what are you gonna do? Oh, I completely agree. Yeah. I completely agree. Do what you got, man. Yeah. So now we can go upstairs. Let's do it. Come this way. Sorry for the shaky cam, guys. <laughs> Just is what it is. 
So you can see they have showcases everywhere, and you're gonna see that especially upstairs. A lot of historical items. There's one down there. Look at this. Obviously, aerospace is probably some of the foundations of this, this school. Absolutely. You can see aerospace memorabilia everywhere. Look as you walk in. What a gorgeous entrance. Walk right outside, you will see our, uh, our, our defense uh, that we have, our defenses, just in case. Oh, cool. <laughs> Holy cow, that's a student model. Somebody built that. <laughs> Just in case. That is super neat. I would love to see how heavy that is. <laughs> oh, yeah, I have no idea. All right, those stairs right there, we can go up. Okay, we're gonna go upstairs. Oh, look at, look at the animal heads. Very cool. Very cool. Very, very cool. <laughs> this is uh, our main entrance that we have here. And also, we have our security. And your Terminator? Here. Yes, just in case. And <laughs> it looks like it's motion activated and it, it's going to do some things when people walk up. <laughs> okay, guys, like I said before, it's about to get loud. There are a lot of people upstairs and people are still showing up. So, yeah. this is an, a tremendous showing for a first meeting for a biomed chapter. Incredible, I love the local support. So, oh, gramophone right there. Nice. All right, All right. this is the second floor. And uh, everybody's behind us. Yeah, let's do it. So you, more student projects up here. You're going to see all these cabinets just full of cool stuff. Too bad I, I won't be able to show you guys everything. They're everywhere. So this is the Biomed Shop. And this is currently set up for their certificate program, right? Yes. And that's why, you know, it's a truncated program. So you're not going to see the, the quantity of equipment that you would see in a associate's or, you know, bachelor's program. We will have a second lab when the associates program starts later this year. Okay. Now this is for our diploma program where we focus a lot on general biomed equipment, patient monitors, infusion pumps, vital signs, defibrillators, those kinds of things. Oh yeah. Yep. We need more equipment though. We still of course. Need more. <laughs> In fact, uh, there's people carrying up equipment just today. Oh, I love oh, yeah. the the medi testers. Close to my heart. I know. <laughs> All right. Again, more, more robots. Guys, I could spend hours here. Hours. That's insane. Oh, it's a it's a robotic arm to assist with lifting underwater or for for loads. Oh, night vision. That's a like a Gen One or Gen Two night vision. Right Holy cow. This is the quiet end. That's why I'm starting down yeah, here, guys. It's kind of quiet over here. We have a few student projects here. That looks like a 3D scanner. Because it's got the, the turntable. You see that? Oh, oh, and we got some more stuff over here. I didn't even see this earlier. Just a little bit, right. just a little bit yeah. Okay. We, you know, there's storage rooms I haven't even been in before, so. Yeah, you can see that they're building out more trainers down here. Super cool. Oh, look at this. We got program logic controllers, we got pneumatics, yeah, and there's the controller our, cabinet our, down below. This is our workstation where they build these things, and the engineers that do this are. This would be the dream job. Yeah. Next to like a warehouse full of broken garbage, <laughs> this would be my dream job it is, is building stuff for the future. Well, like I said, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot going on here that I don't even understand, honestly. So, it's a really cool place to use. Man, like that. Okay. The chaos is this way. Yeah, the chaos is this way. <laughs> All right. So, we got 
theory, lecture. We got labs. Vintage cameras. Measurement instruments. Oh, we got a whole selection of cathode ray tubes. Very cool. I hope this camera's not so shaky you guys can't see what I'm, I'm taking a look at. Some of this is real vintage, man. How cool. But anyway. Oh. So this is where you teach like digital theory? One of the spaces that they have. Okay. Some basic DC, AC, and even digital electronics. Man, these trainers look very familiar. That looks like the trainers that they had in the military. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> oh, those things, man, I, I would love to get my hands on one of those. Okay, all right, you're going to see a lot of people out here. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Okay, so we're just going to do a walkthrough. Again, sorry for the, uh, see, there's a lot of people in this room. And there's many people down this way. <laughs> Sorry, guys. All right. We've got more people over here. More people showing up. Hey, guys. So they got vendors that are setting up out here in the whole way. They're going to have plenty of food and stuff for people. Again, more cabinets full of cool stuff, man. Okay. Oh, it's getting quieter down here. Excuse me, guys. Okay. We got some more labs. So we do have an IT program here. Oh, that is that is IT. So they do networking switches, all the, all the different stuff. My camera can actually uh, it, it can focus quite well in here, so we're good. We do have. Certificate programs. We also what, have what's the deal with the monkeys? <laughs> what? Those are animatronics so that you can control them. Yep. We have the entire Cisco training program here, private security. Slightly creepy, guys. Slightly <laughs> creepy. Kind of fun, though. Yeah. Look at this. This would be such a cool school to go to. And you guys have a whole host of robots. Probably the most robots I've ever seen in school. <laughs> Some of them we are still figuring out. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see, we got more labs. Oh really? Oh, semiconductor lab. Yep. Oh, so cool. So cool. Oh, I love it. You guys can see the variety of test equipment on the back wall. Yeah. It's actually, you know, this place is actually really organized too. Yes. I mean, I dig it. Well, it, you know, it was started over 30 years ago, and, and the person who started it is a, uh, an engineer through and through. Yeah. yeah. It seems like everything kind of has a uh, place. Oh. Okay. We got some more electronics trainers. Very cool. And we got more vintage things. I mean, it's like an actual museum, the amount of stuff that's here. So guys, I'm sorry, it's already a 20 minute long video, but if I were to stop at every single one of these cases and like even show you every single room, we would make this an hour long video. Just trying to give you a quick run through. Anyway guys, I gotta get back to the CMIA meeting. This is obviously the number one chapter meeting. And uh, what's the next meeting? So usually there are every two months. Okay. And it might be more quarterly this time around. Okay. We gotta talk to Everardo. It's his first year as president. He's already starting off with the banks. So we're gonna see if he's gonna be up to here. That's awesome. I'll, I will continue to follow this group and I'll broadcast their next date. And so if you're in the Orange County region, 
anywhere in California in general. You just want to take part of a bigger group. This seems like a very inclusive group. There's so many people here. There's student level all the way up to some of the industry leaders that have even retired years ago. They still showed up to show support for Orange County. So guys, this is excellent. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks, Corey, for showing me around. And guys, uh, stay tuned. I'll, I'll broadcast the next date for the CMIA meetings, all right?